Hi, I'm Callista Redmond, here to talk with you today about RISC-V and the open era of computing. RISC-V is a free and open instruction set architecture at the heart of the core of the SOC that lives on the board that rests in the system that then proliferates across software. RISC-V is driven through open collaboration. In fact, it is the most prolific open instruction set of our time. And this is fundamentally changing how the industry looks at building semiconductors. Once upon a time, you only had proprietary options. Yeah, a few open options started to make inroads into this space, but none really took off like what we're seeing with RISC-V. RISC-V fundamentally is changing not only the business model, but the technical model. And we are enabling the freedom of design without boundaries across all domains and industries. This is well on course to overturn and disrupt the entire industry. This is cementing the strategic foundation of semiconductors for this era, our next era of computing, on an open and collaborative concept. Let's start with the technology. RISC-V is fundamentally designed for a modular approach. Rather than layering additional extensions onto a base ISA, where many legacy ISAs have somewhere around 1,500 base instruction sets, the RISC-V approach takes 47 base instructions, and then you can modularly add just those extensions that are required for your design. The business model is completely overturned and that it is free. There is unlimited use and you can implement this from anything from embedded to enterprise. It's growing rapidly and we're seeing many new custom approaches to semiconductors coming with this. What innovation has been happening on RISC-V already? Well, RISC-V was born in a Berkeley lab 10 years ago. And it began with a very foundational building blocks, carefully crafted among experts in the industry to really support the next generation of computing. We've continued to progress this roadmap and today are seeing an explosion across both hardware and software extensions and other uh, form factors, uh, extensions, form factors, and other implementations. The business model itself is unparalleled. By taking an open approach without licensing fees or other restrictions that come with that model, including you know, limits on how much of that uh, uh, instruction you can actually see or modify, we are enabling an entire community to come together on RISC-V. This includes collaboration partners, and opens up the possibility of supply chain, removing those restrictions, expanding geographic uh, penetration, expanding markets, and, and also engaging development partners from around the world. This reduces the risk in choosing RISC-V as a fundamental building block in your design and removes barriers to entry, especially licensing costs, while accelerating time to market by collaborative development. So we've removed a lot of barriers, but what does that opportunity really look like? RISC-V is absolutely fueling our community on growing opportunities. Let's, think of, let's take a look at some of those opportunities. By 2025, Gartner is predicting 40% of ASICs will be designed by OEMs. This is rather than taking off the shelf models. We're enabling OEMs as well as design partners to progress on RISC-V. In fact, today there are more design shops on RISC-V than any other architecture. This is being uh, conveyed through the changes in the business model and the technology. And we're seeing that open model, that open collaboration model, as reflected here also by Gartner, uh, as building out an entire ecosystem. Cloud service providers are looking at this as a fundamental aspect that goes into their uh, data centers. And semiconductor vendors are looking at this as an opportunity to streamline tools and other resources necessary in the design process. I'm going to show you a few charts like this. The graphs are all going in the same direction. 
there's an absolute explosion in IoT and other connected devices. These devices demand security and custom processors. These are the smallest and the most prolific in use today. IoT ranging from phones to automotive to uh, industrial and many other applications, 30 billion connected devices are on course today. Risk v has a huge stake in that market. In fact, the predictions are that Risk v will capture 62.4 billion Risk v CPU cores in just the next few years. This report by Semico points out industrial as the leading at, uh, participant in this new uh, frontier. Where are we today? Wilson Research Group took a look at what the designs were that were coming through today and 23%, nearly a quarter of ASICs and FPGA projects are incorporating RISC-V in at least one processor. This is a result of a study put out just last year. We are well on target to continue this growth trajectory. This starts to bleed into other aspects of the ecosystem. RISC-V IP. There are more design houses with RISC-V today than any other. This market is growing to 1 billion, over 1 billion by 2025, and this is a CAGR of 54.1%. Again, these graphs are all going in the same direction. This starts to have a uh, carry-on effect in the software and tools ecosystem. So not only is IP growing, but the ecosystem around it is as well. Let's think about the industries. I mentioned this is growing from embedded to enterprise. We see this in cloud and data centers around the world. Alibaba has made huge uh, public announcements and, and remarks on uh, their adoption of RISC-V. And we expect and are understanding many other uh, cloud service providers are following suit with their custom uh, SOCs. Automotive, huge area with critical safety in mind. Whether it's infotainment or safety, automotive is getting on board with RISC-V as well. Industrial IoT, as I mentioned, this has been one of the leaders in this space already and are continuing to see more and more advances and more and more designs coming out with RISC-V. Mobile and wireless. We have a number of the largest uh, mobile and wireless uh, uh, OEMs in our um, ecosystem already today, and we're continuing to see this as a huge frontier, not only for 5G, but for many different wireless devices. Consumer and IoT devices, hey, let's face it, you have a chip today it could be in your toothbrush, it could be in your toaster. You have many chips that are feeding information and data and the need to process information at the point of ingest is now paramount. Memory, memory and storage continuing to be huge growth markets across the board. In fact, we had some great announcements this year with Seagate around their hard disk drive controllers. So, how is the RISC-V community doing? Well, this is a graph that looks like the others I've already shown you. We are continuing to grow very rapidly. In fact, we well more than doubled in just 2020 and grew at 133% in our community. We are continuing to see a huge diversity of ecosystem participation. As we look around the community, we have many stakeholders from chip providers to IO, research, industry systems, software, and many individuals, many individuals who are joining because they are developers, engineers, and advocates for RISC-V. This is starting to reflect in the work that we're uh, now able to accomplish. This dedicated community spans around the community. Uh, it, it spans industry and universities and software. Many different interests are coming together to collaborate on RISC-V solutions. This is an important uh, area as we start to see reflected in adoption and other progress within the industry. The European Processor Initiative has made great strides in their RISC-V accelerator architecture. The first chip, EPAC, will deliver in 2021. The Rios Lab, great progress on Pico Rio, open source small board computer will also be available this year. 
Alibaba unveiling the, their core in their Huangxi uh, 910 processor aimed at cloud and edge servers, microchipped SOC FPGA development kit, and a superscalar multi-core and level two cache controllers. Uh, Seifang, a uh, RISC-V AI visual plat uh, processing platform, GreenWaves, on the hearables platform, enabling scene aware and neural network based noise reduction. These are some of the advances in some of that green field that we're going after and some of the traditional system space. In fact, Sci5 unveiled the world's fastest development board for RISC-V personal computers last year. We're continuing to see advances made in the smallest, most power efficient uh, designs as well as HPC and other types of implementation that use scale out models. RISC-V is fundamentally changing how we proceed with semiconductor designs and we're continuing to see that throughout our community. In fact, we now have nearly 3,000 individuals in 60 plus RISC-V workgroups. This is up from like 20 last year. We have so much work going on and so much dedication across our community. We now have uh, nearly 300 RISC-V solutions up in our marketplace, also called Exchange. We're continuing to build on that to offer even more solutions across services as well as developer forums together with the products and solutions offered by our community. We are down in the local communities as well. We have nearly 30 different uh, RISC-V community groups formerly known as meetups, uh, that have engaged more than 5,400 engineers. And we're in the news a lot. We have like 33,000 followers across LinkedIn and Twitter, uh, and we've participated in just the last 12 months in 135 different news articles. Risk 5 is getting the spotlight. And this is an area that we're seeing tremendous investment across both startups and multinationals. So we bring this back to our community. As we grow, we are offering and building out programming to help our members grow. Without commercial success, open source is just a fun project or a hobby. So we need to continue to see industry adoption, commercial success, and benefit to all of our stakeholders across the community, whether those are students in academia or those are commercial uh, heavyweights that are supplying uh, semiconductors around the world. So we have six programs that we offer to our members. In technical deliverables, we are uh, bringing extra discipline to our roadmaps, to our structures and processes that enable our members to achieve and ratify extensions even more quickly. We already announced our first ratified extension for 2021. And we have seven more to go just this year that are well on track. In compliance and verification, we are enacting a risk five compatible uh, mark along with a set of tests to ensure that those designs are compatible down to the base ISA. Visibility. We support our members through amplifying not only what risk five is doing, but what is going on across the community. We dedicate at least 50% of our time to amplifying the voices in our community. This can be with analysts, with press and reporters, it's through blogs, through media, original content, through events, and our dedicated team uh, working behind the scenes to ensure that there is continuity of story across all of the great progress that RISC-5 is making. Learning and talent. Just this last week, we announced our first two online MOOCs dedicated to risk five. These join other online uh, learning available for our community and industry. Along with uh, online learning, we also have a risk five training partner program, and we have a dedicated academia group that is continuously uh, bringing out um, labs, lectures, and other curricula that can be shared with other universities. We have achieved tremendous growth across universities around the world where traditional uh, engineering courses are being turned from one architecture over onto RISC-V simply because of the incredible uh, projects and custom processors that you're able to design only with RISC-V. In advocacy and alliances, we have a great uh, ambassador program where we've got uh, nearly a dozen ambassadors around the world 
who are leading special initiatives to ensure connections around our engineering community. We are also in the process of launching a program to recognize our uh, top uh, co contributions by groups. We have uh, technical lab partners around the world who are taking on various technical missions with RISC V and bringing them in-house to deliver to the open community. And those are projects that are uh, very important to us. We also have two dozen different alliances with other organizations. No open source project works in isolation. We team together closely with CHIPS Alliance, with Zephyr, and dozens others. These are very important areas where we can collaborate on technical advances as well as uh, make the most of our member communities, ensuring that they are not having duplicate work in multiple places. It's also an opportunity for us to team closely with regional alliances dedicated to Risk V. You know, our regional alliances, they're amazing. They range from research and academia to industry to venture capital. Did I mention we have a lot of startups in Risk V? We do. In fact, we have more than 100 organizations who are in Risk V that are less than 500 employees today. Finally, marketplace exchange. This is an area where we are simply playing matchmaker with no stake in the game. We want to showcase all Risk V available solutions and offerings, and for anyone looking, route their interest directly to the provider. So I hope that you will consider where Risk V fits within your company, your strategy, and your personal mission. There has never been a greater time to change the course of history and be part of an open era of computing than there is right now. And we're seeing folks come on uh, and, and come into the community every single day. In fact, I sign about five to 10 new membership agreements per day. Risk V is here. Risk V is in production. Risk V is capturing attention and investment around the world. Here's what a few of our friends have had to say. Wired, the future depends on this open approach. Venture beat. While the architecture is a decade old, that's actually a good thing. It started to hit its stride. Huge licensees like Western Digital, Sci Five, and NVIDIA. In Gadget, if it succeeds, Risk Five could lower the cost of developing a new chip and help companies of all sizes to build exactly the processors they want. This is the future, and the future is here. Thank you. I look forward to engaging with you. Please reach out to me, follow me, and let's talk. Let's keep the discussion going.